Hey guys, welcome to part eight, restoring the Bayliner, the reveal. Now I bought this boat one year ago to the day to turn it into a relic hunting machine and a fishing boat. So it doesn't look like your typical Bayliner, but put a lot of time, a lot of effort, and quite a bit of money into this to bring it to where it's at today. So I hope you'll stick around and watch the video. I'm gonna bring you the highlights and the lowlights of fixing up an old boat. Let's go. Well, I unwrapped the vinyl from the first one. And, uh, yeah, that's not, that's not good right there, so. And this is the good one, so this wood will be replaced and the wood on the next one will be replaced as well. One thing I'll be keeping is the foam padding. Well, there's what's left of the engine uh, housing. That basically went around the engine and then it had a top. When I bought the boat, it didn't have a top on, on that. So um, I had to rebuild everything myself. So it went from being that thing to this. That's gonna go around the bottom part of the engine. painted white and on top is this behemoth that's a big box there <laughs> but it covers the engine well it'll be insulated for sound the bottom will be insulated and this will stay white and all of this will be wrapped in vinyl and I'm gonna have a tray up here for setting stuff on like relics fishing bait hooks you have it all right, so that's the engine cover, and I had to build it and paint it myself. So it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. been a while since I uh, worked on the boat and just the other day I got a good part of the deck in uh, when you're replacing the deck on the boat there's very little 90 degree angles <laughs> I learned that the hard way and over the gas tank where there was plywood before I replaced it but all this is screwed in so it'll be a good support and that's the main board right there that's going in so I'm gonna go ahead and get that down work on the other two pieces on either side and a couple more small pieces and start caulking it off. I've seen some guys run caulking beads really smooth comes with practice. I don't really consider that a skill, but you know, if you can do it, make it look good, that's good. But I have a rag to wipe up what's not looking good. All right, you can see all the new decking that's been put down. Did a little caulking. Um, I'm going to call it a day because I felt a few raindrops and I'm not going to let this brand new very expensive three quarter inch plywood get wet. All right. Well, you can see I got fiberglass down. Um, it looks a little rough, a little bumpy here and there, but believe me, it's solid. It's not going to leak any water through on the wood. Uh, wood underneath has been replaced. Um, most of the decking up here has been replaced so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to vacuum out the uh, underneath the dash area 
and up front the bow and I'm going to hit it with a uh, scotch bright uh, sanding disc and smooth it out best I can and then I got this paint it's uh, made for decks it's a non-skid paint when you use that and uh, get this thing painted and I got a floor covering that's going on after that and I'll be putting in a captain's chair and two new seats here and in the back I got a seat that's going here and another one going about right here so let's get to work all right check it out there is the engine cover for the Bayliner and it's good to go everything's in place I got handles on the side I don't know if you can see them in this dim light let's go over here all right handles got a locking mechanism down there and keep in mind this is uh, homemade so it's a little bigger than uh, the standard one that you would have when you bought the Bayliner so it's made out of three-quarter plywood and it's insulated inside top and bottom so I'm pretty happy with that so now it's on to putting down the decking material it looks like teak wood and finishing this piece right here and putting it down as well for the hatch just a little peek into uh, the recovering of my cushions on the front of the Bayliner these had a white uh, vinyl on them and uh, it was just beaten really bad so I bought this teal color and I got a good price on it and I'm wrapping all three of them in it it's gonna look pretty nice all right it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon and um, decided to go ahead and start getting this deck paint down now I was going to do gel coat but the weather conditions and um, the temperatures really made it impossible to do something like that in the driveway uh, so I got this really good deck paint it's about $90 a gallon and it's got a guarantee to it and so far I'm happy with the results take a look it's laying down really good and thick it is an oil based paint waterproof and uh, it's, it's turning out pretty good now before I do any further I've got to go here and drill a hole and fill it with a two-part foam because I tore out a bunch of foam when I pulled the seat box out because it was um, filled with water of course you know all the water damage all this wood has been replaced most of the deck has been replaced so I'm gonna do a little bit more painting on the uh, porch side and then I'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole unfortunately I forgot before I made the fiberglass so I'll have to put the plug back in and probably caulk it up maybe I'll get some more resin and epoxy I'm not sure yet all right all right it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon and um, decided to go ahead and start getting this deck paint down now I was going to do gel coat but the weather conditions and um, the temperatures really made it impossible to do something like that in the driveway uh, so I got this really good deck paint it's about $90 a gallon and it's got a guarantee to it and so far I'm happy with the results take a look it's laying down really good and thick it is an oil based paint waterproof and uh, it's, it's turning out pretty good now before I do any further I've got to go here and drill a hole and fill it with a two-part foam because I tore out a bunch of foam when I pulled the seat box out because it was um, filled with water of course you know all the water damage all this wood has been replaced most of the deck has been replaced so I'm gonna do a little bit more painting on the uh, port side and then I'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole unfortunately I forgot before I made the fiberglass so I'll have to put the plug back in and probably caulk it up maybe I'll get some more resin and epoxy I'm not sure yet all right all right I'm gonna punch a hole right here for the foam to go in and it's close to this rib because there's a little bit missing on the other side so it should work out
Well, it's getting late in the evening, and uh, I want to go ahead and get this foam poured in. So, this stuff here is a two part foam. Luckily for me, it's just a ratio of one to one. So, I'm going to pour equal amounts into this pot, which I was going to discard anyway. Stir it up and dump it in there as fast as I can. It's got about a minute of minute and a half before it starts expanding from what the instructions say and I don't want to be caught with just a pot and a deck full of foam. Here we go. I lowered the boat down in the front that much of this will run both directions. I don't want it all go toward the back. Let's see how it does. If I have to add more, I guess I can add more. Give it a little bit of time. Meanwhile, I'll put these tops back on. I don't spill them. And we'll see what happens. Well, got my phone light here. As of right now, I don't see a lot going on. I'll give it a few more minutes. All right. Well, it filled up the space. There's a little bit of gap to one side, but you know what, I'm pretty happy. I think uh, it's gonna be a lot quieter without that empty space down there when I'm going across the waves. So, uh, we're gonna continue painting. Try to get this done and get the uh, engine cover on, then start installing the seats. Well, it's kind of dark. As you can see over here on this side, I got most of the side stuff painted. I got the bow painted underneath the dash, down this side, and the seat box. So, they're calling for about 40% chance of rain tomorrow. I'm gonna put the cover on this baby tonight, call it a night, and uh, get back on it tomorrow.
coffee there. Love the way this paint lays on here. I'm hoping this will last some years. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but I filled the bilge full of water and tried the old pump, and of course it didn't work. So, we're putting in this one right here. Brand new, fully automatic bilge pump. Real simple to hook up, just two wires and uh, hook the hose to it and flood it and let it, let it go. All right, that'll be the next thing I do. All right. That's how you know the build pump is pumping water, just like that. So uh, mission accomplished on that, moving on to the next thing. Well, since I got junk in my trap in my uh, gas tank, I, um, I first thing I did was install this water fuel separator, which filters out a lot of stuff. Um, also, I had the carburetor cleaned out, and this is in addition to that, this is a fuel filter. Uh, down to 20 microns. Now it's just sitting here temporarily. I'm gonna give it a try and uh, make sure that uh, gas can get through this and the other two filters before it hits the screen at the carburetor. So between here and the carburetor jets, there's uh, actually four filtrations. I'm hoping that will take care of everything. Well, the first cushion turned out good. I'm happy with the results. I uh, just wrapped it around real good and stapled it. I'll put some cloth on the bottom and um, that'll, that'll make it look more professional. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, it's uh, about eight o'clock, um, 9th, 8th of November. And um, I've been working on this thing since June. And uh, you can see I got the deck painted. All these cushions and this uh, padding around it's been replaced. It looks really nice, teal color. Back here, double back to back seat. New helm seat. Not a real fancy one, but that's all I needed really. Got the um, engine doghouse around it. This part right here, I rewrapped. With new vinyl and that side as well and then there's some uh, pieces that snap over the over, around that and covers the battery and stuff up so the top's got to go on hey we're getting close all right oh I've got one more piece this goes right here in the middle between the two back pieces so it's gonna be brand new too all right She's coming together. I'm happy with the results. For you know, being the first time I've ever done a, a boat. And uh, it's not gonna be just a white deck. I've got some teak wood uh, foam padding that's gonna go down and it looks gonna look really nice. So, I'm gonna keep on going, get everything done inside, then I'm gonna do the outside and reveal the name. will be the last thing on the last part of the video.
they make all kinds of cleaners to clean the hull of your boat. But doing a little research on YouTube, I found that uh, the stuff called bean green mildew, mildew remover. And uh, you can also use uh, the works toilet bowl cleaner. You just have to dilute it. And when you spray it on there and give it a little brush, it'll clean the stuff right off. It does a pretty good job. Well, I bought this antenna off Amazon to be my marine radio antenna, but it doesn't have the right connector. So I'm going to install it over here on the side with the stereo, and this will be my AM FM antenna. So far, it works pretty good. So all I got to do is install it now. built this little wooden frame here to set the bottom of the Alpha Drive in so I can do the work. I've seen guys uh, have their kids hold it up for them while they worked on it, stick the skag in the mud. I'm not doing that. There was another fella that built one of these and I thought that was a great idea. So I just took some old 2x4s, ripped them, measured them, and, and just screwed it all together. It was real simple. It only took about an hour.
Well, there it is. Get in the little sand. It looks pretty nasty. I'm gonna wipe down the grease and junk around all the, uh, around the pump housing. And I'm gonna start disassembling the housing and pulling everything apart. So, stick around. See this seal? This is the one I had to replace. It used to look like this. Don't believe everything you see in the movies. The uh, videos I watched made it look a lot easier. I practically had to destroy this to get it out. Uh, went through a few acronyms. Started with OMG, and then WTF, and then finally FML. But it's out, and this is going in. All right, you can see the new carrier seal is in. It has an O-ring on the bottom and two O-rings on the inside. With all that being replaced, that should stop any oil from leaking around there. Because this is the area where the water comes through to go through the engine. And uh, to get it down on there, I used this uh, prop wrench. I just stuck it on there like this and just tapped it down lightly. But it seated pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Time to move on. Next step. Doesn't always work like in the movies. Okay, at first the gaskets were slipping, but I finally got it to where I could put the impeller on and then twist the housing and I got it, I mean twist the shaft and I got the housing to go down right over it. I got everything back on, tightened up, so um, ready to finish this thing up and get it back on the boat. It's been a success, it's just been a little pain in the butt.
Got one of these installed, gotta do the other now. Well, I got these installed, but in order to do so and put it all back together to reassemble it, I had to remove the platform. So now I have to put it back on. Well, it was a big empty space in the front of this engine cover for the Bayliner, so I decided to uh, give it a little dressing. I think I'm gonna add one more thing to it. Alright guys, if you made it through the video this far without clicking through too many times, thank you. And we're going to wrap this up now. Alright, I hope you liked the boat, spent a year restoring it to this and um, looking forward to getting out there on the water with my buddy's dime detective and his brother Doug and doing some fishing with the family and friends. Alright, thanks for watching, I appreciate it, please like, subscribe and share this video if you would.